I use OER in all my classes. I decided a long time ago, more than 10 years ago, not to go with textbooks anymore. Um, and I have found a great deal of uh, uh, success with them, but for the most part, I assemble the materials myself. When I go into a, a unit, let's say, in, in history of political science, so if I'm going to talk about the Civil War in history, or I'm going to talk about the Senate in the, the United States, in American government class, what I'll first do is look at the subject matter and then determine what I want to teach to that matter to get across the main points and some of the more interesting items that will flesh out that material. And then I will look for materials that uh, speak to that. But it's always going to be topic driven first. You never want to try to get resources first and then try to fit the topic to them. What we find about college textbooks is the college textbook prices have risen dramatically in the last, say, 25 or 30 years. This rise makes it very, very difficult for a lot of my students to actually access high quality textbooks. And they're expected to have these on the first day of class. So for me, the main reason that I want to go with OER is that if I can find quality materials that I can use just as well as I can use a textbook, then I would like my students to have that lower cost alternative. One of the things about student retention or success that's kind of difficult to define is how many people would either stay in a class or leave a class because of the textbook. In the community colleges, we know that students actually will take or not take a class because of the cost of a textbook will or will not pass a class because of the cost of a textbook, will or will not withdraw from a class because of the same reason. It's not only the fact that my students uh, can now access the materials on the first day or even before the first day of school, and that really has to do with availability. It's also the fact that they don't have to strain their financial resources by buying the books that at times, at least in a US history class or a world regional geography class, the basic text can cost up to $200. So one of the big advantages is financial. My students have access to this and they have very, very low or no cost access to this. Capital Community College has actually made it a priority to make sure that students are informed of their ability to, to actually uh, take courses that are no cost, low cost. And no cost, low cost, we call that no low. And we will identify a lot of the courses that we offer uh, right on the website. When you're looking at the courses being offered, it'll say right next to them, no low, which does mean no cost, low cost textbook. We have seen that it is a big priority on students' part that they need to save money on these things, especially money on things that can be substituted for by high quality materials that can be accessible for them. Go no low. <laughs>